Mastering the phrase, belly down, enhance your English vocabulary. Hello, dear viewers. Welcome back to our channel, the place where English learning becomes easy and fun. Today, we are going to tackle a phrase that might tickle your imagination, belly down. This expression has a visual character to it, which helps in understanding its application in the English language. Stick around as we dive deep into what it means to be belly down and how you can use this phrase in your conversations. When we think about the word belly, we usually picture the stomach or abdominal area of a person or animal. And down typically means moving or situated in a low or lower position. So, when we put these two words together, Belly down implies lying flat with the stomach touching the ground. This position is often associated with crawling, swimming, or taking cover. Imagine an animal hunting in the wild. They often move belly down through the grass to remain unseen. It's a position that denotes stealth and careful movement. Now that you know what belly down means, Let's put it into context with some examples. The soldiers went belly down to avoid detection by the enemy. When playing with her children, she lay belly down on the floor to be at eye level with them. The cat stretched belly down in the sun, enjoying the warmth on her fur. In each case, belly down describes the position of a person or an animal in relation to the ground, conveying a specific posture or action. It's also important to note that belly down can be varied to fit different grammatical contexts. Lying belly down is used to describe the action as it happens. For instance, the children were lying belly down, drawing on large sheets of paper. Go belly down can be an instruction or action. For example, the coach told the football player to go belly down after the slide tackle. Understanding these variations will help you master the use of belly down in different tenses and scenarios. And that wraps up our journey through the phrase belly down. We hope this video has been informative and that you're now more confident in using this expression in your English conversations. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more learning content. Remember, Practice makes perfect. So try to use belly down next time you're describing someone lying flat on their stomach. Until next time, keep learning and keep growing.